But we start with one of the biggest names in the movie and TV business sending a huge warning to Georgia. Netflix is the first major company to say it could pull out of its productions from our state if the new abortion law takes effect. The film industry is the second largest moneymaker in our state. Now, Jennifer Bellamy is following all of the fallout tonight and this announcement bringing questions about the state's economy. And it is growing and growing, all of this concern out of Hollywood now. It certainly is. And these comments aren't just coming from a producer or director. They're coming from the chief content officer who oversees several productions for Netflix. Georgia's law will go into effect in January. It makes it illegal for a woman in most cases to have an abortion after a fetal heartbeat is heard. That's usually around six weeks before most women find out they're pregnant. Already an Amazon show, a Kristen Wiig movie, and a few other productions have canceled plans to film in Georgia because of this law. Netflix is a huge driver for the nearly $10 billion film and television industry here. Stranger Things, Insatiable, The Haunting of Hill House, and Ozark were all shot here in our state. Netflix officer Ted Sardanos told CNBC today, given the legislation has not yet been implemented, we'll continue to film there while also supporting partners and artists who choose not to. Should it ever come into effect, we'd rethink our entire investment in Georgia. We did speak with a local production company head last week who said one Netflix production has already pulled out, but he's encouraging filmmakers to stay and fight instead of leaving. You're going to make a bigger difference in the inside. Look at what happened in the 60s with Coke staying here and Delta staying here and fighting from within. And uh, we think that that makes a lot more sense than carping from the outside. Several groups have said they plan to file lawsuits challenging Georgia's abortion law. According to CNBC, Georgia's TV and film industry paid nearly $5 billion in wages last year. Jennifer, thank you.